Hi YouTube and welcome. Mike the Gambling Guy here. Here to bring you day... Well, I guess today is Cocktail Waitress Day. What does that mean? Well, if I was calling it a craps table, Cocktail Waitress is a pear and a tray. <laughs> so, it'd be 23. Pear and a tray. That's, that's what it is on a craps table. That's what five coming two, three is a pear and a tray or a cocktail waitress. So, here being bringing you day 23, let's take a look at the tables. So it looks like both tables haven't been uh, too far underway. So that that should be good. Um, you see my balance right now is at 33740 My goal is just to get to 3820 We get there and we are at we are at a $30 unit. Right? So, so we should be able to get there. So let's see what's been going on with this table. So we're going to continue doing the dance. And I'm also going to also be doing the progressive money management strategy where I'm only putting 10 units at most up to risk. Betting one unit, parlaying that for a second and not going beyond that right now. And hopefully today I wouldn't, shouldn't even need that. But we had a no, a yes. So right now it actually looks like we got three yeses in a row. And we'd be going for a no here. So uh, let's see if getting that underneath the... Uh, Underneath the wire was a smart decision. I guess we'll we'll find out here in just a little bit because I haven't done analysis as far as what's been going on. But we're just going to trust the energy of the dance, and this actually is position four. So we're going to see we're both going to take a card, and they got strengthened. We're going to need a little bit more strength than that, and we and we didn't get it. So it was a it was another yes um, there. So going for a no here would also be a one unit bet on the player because we always start with the one unit bet that's why we're only putting 10 units at risk um, because we're looking for those parlays to not only throw us into profit but also bring us back if we happen to dig a hole i don't really want to be digging a hole but uh and i, I only make two bets back to back other than that, we're just going to leave it alone in case the energy was going to continue. But going back to the beginning of this, they had a no, a yes, a no, a yes, yes, no. We would have won that. Yes, no, wouldn't have played there yet. And we end up getting a tie. So instead of a rebat, because we're going from that side to that side, uh, now we're going over there to the banker. And, um, and, and the tie is... Found out the tie a lot of times forces me to go the other side. So just hitting the rebat, which a lot of strategies I hear, they're just like ties don't matter. They just, just hit rebat. Um, with the dance, it does matter because it literally just pushes to the other side. Now let's see if that was the energy of the game or if that was the, the mirroring that just wanted to continue to happen, right? Because so far there's been five mirrors, sorry, four mirrors that have gone and we are we're trying to break that trend right now by uh, by getting a banker like that so now our next bet basically we just got our money back from our first bet so our next bet would be for two units and we're going to want that to be for a boomerang bet and it's going to be a two unit bet now on the player and that would actually put us up two units a one and a He's really, really making that dramatic. A zero. So we're both getting cards. Hopefully we get a good, good fat card. That's a good card to have. Just left a little bit of wiggle room, but we just got it. We're up two units. So we're getting very close to our goal. We're at three, seven, eight, nine, eleven. <laughs> right now is where, we're, where we currently are at. So um, let's just take a look and see where the other table's at. See what's going on over here. So they actually had a three nose. And then a yes. So this also could be a boomerang opportunity here for a unit. So this table has gone no, yes, backwards, yes, no, no, yes. Would have won that one. Yes, wouldn't have had a boomerang there. Uh oh. So three yeses and then a no. Would have won that one. No boomerang. So I'm not, not feeling real good on it. We haven't had a boomerang that I'm seeing here yet. So hopefully we get this four to stick. And it didn't. So if I would have looked at the history of this table, I probably would not have betted on a boomerang there. But now we do have a a normal normal bet. 
Um, so, so one unit. So that's why you shouldn't just jump right in the table with both feet. Actually, I think that was only one foot. Both bats, $50 bat would have been both feet. But uh, So there was a, a yes, a no, 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 four no's, and then went yes. And then there was a boomerang because it went four times. And then it went no, 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 yes. So it did go three times there, but we didn't get our boomerang. So here, hopefully, it just, it just wants to go the the two and give us our result. <laughs> so let's get a good, good, good number right here. And we didn't get that. Best we can hope for is a tie, and I'm not really looking forward, to, not really looking to that to happen. All right, so one more bet here. We're going to be looking for the banker to have a to have a breakout, uh, which I haven't been doing lately, but that's fine. Uh, so the banker on the drive roads. Uh, well, look, we just missed this. That went seven. Keep telling you, power of seven. This went seven times, and then it said er. uh, we'd be going back to blue here, which would be a boomerang for the cockroach pig road. It'd give us a red bullet on the, the short road and on the big eyed boy road, it'd give us a red circle. So actually feeling pretty good about the banker here um, to, to get this one unit, even though we're going against an eight. And yeah, that didn't happen. So now we'd be waiting for them to uh, to finish that up. So she just kind of, she just kind of walked through my profits that we had there, didn't she? Um, so here we have a no, no. So it would be going for a yes after this tie. Well, yesterday didn't help me either. I think when I went to the other table, it was like, just, just, just stay, stay here. He is very dramatic on his flips. He, he's got that, he's got that timing down that, that he will not let go of that timing. So let's get our banker here. Get our units back. Again, our goal for today is 3820 for the day. A six, so the player will not be getting another card. And we certainly will be. Hopefully it's enough. It was not. So that was another no. So now we are going for the yes again so this would be this is our third unit at risk because we were at 3740 i believe so i believe we were up two units but that's all right we just got to keep track of where we're at there's the first one in our journey <laughs> so that was one so would the no boomerang come back for two? That would give us a blue circle, a red bullet, and a red slash. We're going for it. Just say no. <laughs> Just say as we do the dance. Bring us the boomerang. Come on, gotta trust the, the energy of the game to bring us this back. And we're starting off very low. <laughs> so we know he's so intentional with his flips. So they've got a six. So we've got, we've got a road to hoe here. And we only get to get the four. So we are down our three units. Trying to get that to work. And now we are looking for the no here. And we are back to our single unit. So this is our fourth unit at risk. The other table, she finally did, um, she did Four, she did five yeses, and then she came back with a no, and then did not boomerang again. So there's one of them. So nice. So let's let's get our next two, get us back to where we were. And this other table, you can see she was at no, no, yes, and she did boomerang again. So if we get a banker here, we're going to be going for player. There we go. So player would give us a red circle here, a blue bullet here, and a blue hash there. So if those trends continue, we're looking really good because on the Big Eyed Boy Road, this soloed, went bit paired. It soloed, at least paired, soloed, at least paired. So now we're looking for it to jump back over. Uh, 
Jump back over to the red side. So the anticipated vet side would be a, a player for two units. It's a good number. It's a perfect pair. Look at that. She has a perfect pair. <laughs> I guess you can say that more ways than one, but uh, yeah, that, that was good. So we are back to where we had started this game. So that, that is fantastic. Um, we're going to go for the boomerang. I mean, might as well. The, the dealer before this, the last two boomerangs, it did boomerang around the last two times. Oh, that was a waste of a nine right there, wasn't it? Ah, trust the energy, trust the energy. Dent, dent. Sounds like a Sesame Street song. Trust the energy. <laughs> so, so we're up a unit. <laughs> up one unit right now. Our next bet is for two. So what we got going on over here? Looks like we had a lot of a lot of nos going on. Uh, one, two, three, four. So Good thing we missed Brandy's little run here. Uh, it seemed like it was a great time to, to run away from that table. Uh, let's see, a player here, uh, sorry, a banker here would give us a red slash or red bullet. Ah, damn, why didn't I throw the banker on? Oh, it would have been two units, wouldn't it have? See, I wasn't even thinking that. It would have been two units. I was also all prepared to do one. And do we, do we, do we, do we dodge a bullet there, folks? Do we, do we dodge our, our two? Or two bullet there. So she has gone five times. So if we went for this, what would that give us? Blue slash. I mean, I like the red one here. Kind of like the blue there and the red there. So kind of like the kind of like the the trend of hers is going to continue here. To where it's going to be going to the banker. Boom. Just like that. So a red circle, a blue bullet, and a blue slash for the player. Let's see if reading the roads <laughs> works along with the energy. So far, doesn't look great. <laughs> that zero, but that, that can certainly um, always happen here. So let's get a good card. <laughs> Dang it, her energy is just gonna just gonna keep flowing there. So she is really on that no train. Speaking of the no train, one, two, three, four here as well. It just feels like it's going to be a banker again. And right now we're down one unit for this session. And with the positive progression, it can very, very easily turn in our direction. But right now the energy certainly is with the no. See how you read that? Not just doing the dance. Didn't just walk straight into that one. Oh, darn, that would have been a That was a yes. Mike, that, that was exactly what you were looking for for your unit. <laughs> yeah, I put my head down too, honey, <laughs> Caroline. Oh, that should exa exactly, I was like, the banker should have won. And pay attention, that's, that's where your dance should have been for a yes. Instead of another no. And she got the boomerang. I'm just feeling foolish now. So come back with a player so we can bet on the player. One unit back on the player and then we'll get two units on the banker for the boomerang. Because right now the, the player does look like the best bet um, because it would be giving us a blue slash on the cockroach pig road. Um, this one's not gonna, this one's not pairing. I guess that's, that's okay. This one would actually pair. Mm. See if we can get that tie to show up since everything looks a little confused. 6-6 six, six tie. No, 5-6. Six. 
Go back to the banker. So now we have a no, yes. So did she finally break her streak over here? No, 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 no. Oh, sorry, I didn't, didn't move that. No, no, no. Yes, yes, no, no. No, 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 yes, yes, no. So there, right there, she she did it. So this would actually would have been a banker for a boomerang bet on this table if we would have stayed here. So looking for a banker for the boomerang. There it is. Banker would have got the boomerang. And looks like we're going to go no here as well. It's going to be a matter we're just going to be patient and see what's coming. A blue circle. So I'd expect this one to be a banker. Nope. Went to the player. But it was next to the tie, so it doesn't give us a result that we can actually bet on. But we do have one over here. So we have a yes, yes, and we can bet on the no. Which gives us a red circle, which I like. It gives us a blue bullet, which I like. And give us a blue hash, which, which is okay. Uh, so feeling good about the player over here. All right, come on, player. Come on, player, get a tie. <laughs> close, to, close to a tie. All right, let's try that one again. So this is our, once again, third unit at risk. Blue circle, blue dot, and red slash. Oh. Yeah, that was that was it as far as trying for for her on that one. Let's see how far she's gonna go. Uh, she actually look at that. Actually, end up drawing a line in there for that tie. I mean, it really had a line there for that tie. So this was a no, no. She gonna get a? No, she got the yes. We were hoping to get on that yes. Fourth unit. Boomerang. And if the fourth unit doesn't get the boomerang, then, then we're not going to be doing the boomerangs uh, for the continued units. I'm going to continue to wait till I have a progression of the twos and bet on the threes and the fours. Unless the boomerang just stands up and says, I'm coming. <laughs> so it's like, let's, let's not risk it. So luckily, we, we good. We got the boomerang. And the yeses just keep rolling on the other table. Looks like first no, first no. First no showed up. Her, her boomerangs hadn't been helping me here, but um, if it was a player, it'd be a red circle, a blue dot. Yeah, we're gonna go for the player. This one's, this one's standing up and it's saying, hello, because be, this would be the uh, uh, chop pattern, right? We come back here. This would be a pairing up pattern, which is, that's about all that's been doing. And this would be a, uh, be a red circle up here, which um, after three, that's kind of been the pattern that's been going at anyway. So. Keep that, keep that banker low. <laughs> that's a way, that's how we get back to even right there, folks. We're at 37, 37. 37 squared. <laughs> That's how we get back to even. Keep the energy high. <laughs> know what you want. We're, we're four units away. Not even four units. Really three units to getting to where, uh, to where we can stop. Because 3820 is my goal. So I'm really three and a half units away. And you can see once your unit size gets a little bit bigger, the the, uh, 
the banker starts taking a little bit bigger bites uh, of, of what those are. And that's fine. I'm not going to not going to hate on him for that. And a tie brings a tie. Shocked. Let's see if we can have that tie energy bring one more result here. Yes, no, no, yes. And tie. Seven, seven tie would be B A beautiful. And eight. That's right. So we end up having the no. So it went no, yes, no. So are they just going to keep doing the quick step, or are we going to get a get another result coming here? No, yes, no, yes. And it looks like she's going to be continue to do this, the quick step. All right, well, let's, let's put a unit on the quick step. Since that's gone five times, six times. So one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Nope, because I was getting in the wrong row. One, two, three, four, five, six times. So this would be the, the seventh time. So I'd be willing to do it this time, put one unit at risk. But as far as the quick step goes, you're not gonna be, uh, not gonna be doing that dance again. Player gets another card. Let's hopefully they reduce. They get a little bit stronger. And we didn't get stronger. So that's where that dance stopped. But now we are one unit on the player because we have a, a place to play now. We have a place for our bet. She's getting pretty pretty toppy on her shoe. I haven't looked at the other the other table to see how many hands they're in. But we're what, 54 hands in. This is the 55th hand. So a little bit of strength. I'll just take a face card. That just ends it right there. That's that's great. So hopefully she keeps doing, go back to her quick step, right? <laughs> Get these things, just go back and forth. All right, 37.80. So we are $40 away from our goal. And she's getting very, very high on her, her deck. Let's go look at the other deck. She she just keeps banging out that tie line, doesn't she? She's like, I really like that tie line. So we're just going to throw another tie bet in there. Because she has gone yes, no, no, yes, tie. She doesn't really have any back-to-back -back ties yet, but... Good time for one right now. We hit this tie, we'll actually make our goal. Seven, seven tie, come on baby. Bring that tie energy. Seven, seven. Seven, nine. She overshot it. She drew the seven. I guess my energy wasn't connecting with, the, with what she had to draw. I should have been thinking, draw five. Five, and then uh, hopefully she would have drawn the five. And we're just gonna give that one more go, just because the uh, the energy is pointing that way. So don't really have anything else to bet on right now. Not that I'm in a hurry just to throw money away. But the other table also doesn't have a bet for us. Oh, and there's there's her draw card, her cut card. So three. <laughs> she needed a three. She needed a three, and then I think I still would have had to have another card pulled by the banker. And the other table also pulled their cut card. So that is going to do us. I am literally two units away right now from ending this day. We'll get there. So tomorrow, $30 units, right? We've got seven days left in this challenge. To where we're doing $50 units or $600 a day is the end goal of this, right? Fantastic. I, I mean, this this is just feeling so good to get down here uh, and get the bankroll growing. Remember, we, we started from what $640 was the was was the starting yeah $640 was the starting bankroll for this challenge. 
All right? We've, we've had a few setbacks as we've come along, but hey, that's life. I mean, you, you go through life without any setbacks. If you do, you're probably not looking at a gambling channel. <laughs> I mean, that just, just is what it is, right? But uh, here we're, we're doing the dance. We're getting this thing uh, up there, we're getting it to work. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, really looking forward to getting this thing up there to where uh, where we're, we're literally just turning this into a cash machine. Up until some point that that I'll, I'll start going, okay, no, we'll start reinvesting that uh, that back in there so we can build up the bankroll again only in order to take more money out uh, in the future. Because what's all this for? Is to replace the job that I do on a day-to-day -day basis that I love, but come on. If I can gamble for an hour or two a day and make re totally replace my income, if not exceed my income, that's where I'd rather be, right? Living my ideal life. Well, as long as I'm putting the positive thoughts up there in the universe, we're going to get those to come back, right? Positive, vib positive vibration energy. If you have those negative thoughts, go check out my daily meditation because you really need to change the way that you're thinking and you need to approach everything that you do in life with a positive attitude so those positive vibrations can come back to you. And on that thought, I'm going to leave you there. Mike the Gambler Guy. Till tomorrow. I'm out.